Mary Shalom, first and foremost. I want to give all praises and glory and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, a double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yahweh, bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. A, um, and it says, Britons facing permanent reduction in living standards. A, and this is important because a, this is coming to a, a city near you, man. A life as you know it will, will be changed from here on out, man. A, and it's happening everywhere else in the world except America yet, you know? A, but when it hits this place, it's going to hit the hardest because the comfortability level in this place is the highest. You know, these people aren't prepared for, for life-changing experiences, to, to, to not have uh, their, their leisures, to not have their, their, uh, their you know, their vittles. It says this seven, or it's like this year, seven million households will be affected, economists have predicted. And this ultimately leads unto, unto chaos, hey, as the scriptures speak of in the book of uh, Second Edges, the 15th chapter, man. A man not regarding his neighbor, you know. It says um, UK households are suffering a permanent decline in living standards as wages lag behind double digit inflation and families struggle to pay their bills. According to a forecast by the UK's oldest independent economic research institute released on Wednesday, 7 million households, which is the equivalent of one in four, so 25% of the, the people or the population, A, is feeling this, and it's only going to get worse, man. A, it's going to go from 25%, a fourth, to a third, 33%, to half, you know? Because when, when, when tragedies like this happen, when they're put underneath these these type of um uh weights this type of um responsibility and, and, and gravity and uh, the the um, government don't care about them people do people do what they need in order to survive even if it means hurting or harming the next person it's a dog eat dog world it says seven million households which is equivalent of one in four will be unable to cover their energy and food bills once the government starts scaling back its subsidies program in April, right? So, hey, they got two months. They got two months, man. Energy prices remain high while inflation is running above 10%, more than five times the Bank of England's 2% target. Um, it says grocery inflation alone soared to a new record of 16.7% in the four weeks of January, taking the average annual food shopping bill in the U.K., to 5,504 pounds, whoo, 6,000, yeah, and this is a yearly, annually, $6,781 up to, oh, up, 788, um, damn, whoo, sheesh, damn, man, it says that the shopping bill went up from $974 or 788 pounds from last year. Okay, so subtract six seventy eight, or it's like um nine seventy four from six thousand seven hundred and eighty one, you know, but that's still a, that's still a large stretch. That's damn near a thousand dollars more, you know, on the, on the food bill, right? It says um economists warn that the middle income households will be hit the hardest by the cost of living crisis. Right, same thing here in the states, man. Hey, when uh Esau had that that plan, you know that was implemented, it cut off the middle class. But you know that's enough talking for now, man. Hop into the precepts. I want to go into the book of uh, Isaiah, the 24th chapter. On this Isaiah 24. And uh, I'll start here at uh, 7. It says, the new, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, and all the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of Tabret ceaseth, right? The mirth of Tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth, right? Because you know these people, hey, they they in in folly they they enjoy their music and folly, you know they uh their bread and circuses, all of the 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 things that get people's minds off of the hell and the hardship that they're going through are going to be cut off. That's what the scripture is speaking about. It says, um, the mirth of tabret ceaseth, right? And we understand mirth is what happiness, you know, joy it brings forth, gladness. Let's get the mirth. It says mirth. It says merriment, amusement, expressed in laughter. That's why the scripture also tells us what? Better it is to go into the house of mourning than to the house of feasting, man. You know? Because what? You're, you're mentally prepared for the hardships to come. 
And when you don't know a punch is coming, that's when boxers get knocked out. When they can at least see it and embrace it, they can roll with the punches. But these people are not even paying attention that the that the punches are even being thrown. It says the joy of the heart, joy of us, like the noise of them that rejoiceth endeth, right? Hey, and you see that, uh, really, you see that a lot in, in Jake, man. You know, it don't matter how bad Jake living, you know, niggas is going to make sure that they turning up. Hey, well, what do you do when that turn up is turned off? When you when you can't. When it's harsh measures and you, you can't enjoy anything, you just worried about eating. It says the joy of the heart ceases, right? All these clubs and different, you know, venues that Jake go to all these different places to, to appease their mind, to get the stresses of the daily life. Uh, away from them it says they shall not drink wine with a song strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it right they shall not drink wine with a song man your clubs your parties you know it says they shall um strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it right because drinking is used the scripture say give strong drink to them that are ready to perish a hey, that that that's used as a um a, a coping mechanism and it's also used as, as relaxation you know but jake a Jake is going to overdo it and more drinking is going to cause a uh, heaviness of spirit unto them. And then once that drink runs out, guess what? They're going to have to face reality even more. And it's going to be bad, especially in the climate that we live in today, man. Hey, it's not only drinks anymore. You know, people are, are, are popping pills like like chips, man. You know, taking all different types of substances to try to uh, uh, escape reality. So when these avenues are, are cut off. Hey, these people are going to lose their fucking minds, man. Excuse my language, but that's that's the truth. It says there's a crying for wine in the streets, and that's going to be, you know, physically uh, liquor, you know, because of its uses and its, and its benefits to, to get people off of um, thinking, you know, about, about hell. But even more importantly, it's going to be a crime for wine in terms of doctrine, man. That's why when we go into the book of Amos 8 and 11, it tells us, Hey, that uh, is going to be a famine, not a famine of bread or nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Because people are going to be wanting the answers and aren't going to be able to get them, you know? And when, when, and when you constantly have to face challenges or uh, um, hardships that you've never had to deal with, and you have nobody to talk to, no understanding of what's to happen next, that shit is going to bug Jake out. It says, all joy is darkened. Whoo, the mirth of the land is gone. And it's going to be beautiful to see that here in America, man. Because with that mirth comes heavy pride. And we understand what the scripture says about the pride, man. We can go into the book of Proverbs 16, 18. We can go into Isaiah 2 and 12. You know, that's all speaking of the pride. But um, I want to grab another precept as well. Because this ultimately is going to cause havoc and chaos. As the scripture says here. This uh second edge is 15 and 16. It says, For their oh, it's like it, 15 and 15. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right? And that's gonna be because of what? Because life is gonna be too expensive. It says, While the poorest families re receive additional state aid. The middle class will face a decline of between 7% and 13% in their disposable income, or 4,000 pounds. What we've seen is that the shocks that have come along have progressively made us poor, poor person. Um, let's keep saying. It says the, uh, let's try to say this word. Malice, malice. Let's look, the unhappiness. Hmm. Okay, fine. The unhappiness seems, or the mal uh, malaise, seems to be affecting large parts of the advanced world, but on many measures, the UK looks as though it's toward the bottom of performance, and I think that's a great concern. And it is, man. So I'm going uh, to finish this out on my close. It says, um, There shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? For because of their pride, the city shall be uh, shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. And you're going to see that soon in the UK. And it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, increasingly growing here in America. But the uh, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. 
because of the lack of bread, food, and for great tribulation, food and money, man. You know, until Esau, you know, crashes this system. But nevertheless, hey, this is prophecy, man. Hey, and every day, I'm, I'm going to say a Lord will every lesson, man. Every day is more prophecy popping off, man. The testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy, man. And the Lord is increasing it. Every day is something. It's a new article on hell. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the body. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And the sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.